Hello, so welcome to the next square of the 50 Stitches Crochet Along and today we're making the moss stitch. So the moss stitch makes this pretty interlocking pattern and it's just made with single crochet and chains. So it's a double sided stitch and you can see it's got holes in this version but if you went down um, hook sizes you can actually make this really tight so you can make a nice thick fabric with no holes. So depending on how you like your hook size, you can make a really nice dense fabric or something more lacy like this. So how do we make it? We're going to start with a 4.5mm hook and we're going to chain 32. You don't need stitch markers with this stitch, which is another bonus. Okay, so in the fourth chain from your hook, 2, 3, 4, you're going to make a single crochet and then chain one then skip a stitch and make a single crochet and that is the pattern for this whole stitch you just single crochet chain one skip a stitch and single crochet and that's it really so I'm going to carry on for a couple of rows just so I can show you what happens at the ends because essentially we've got a slip stitch at the start or end of the row but nothing to worry about so this works up really nice and quickly so try and keep your chain ones nice and loose otherwise your chain is going to shrink you want to keep everything nice and the same length. So you can see that my chains are pulling up a bit at the bottom. Don't worry about that, that will sort itself out with the border. You won't see that too much by the end. But just chain one, skip a stitch, and make a single crochet all the way across the row. And then you should single crochet in that last stitch. So I'm not going to pull through the last two loops because I'm going to change colour and pull that through the last two loops. Then you're going to turn and chain three. So we don't make any alternate turning chains with a stitch, we're going to chain at the end of the rows. So that's the last single crochet there. And in this first space, we're going to make a single crochet. Then chain one, and into the chain spaces, single crochet. We're going to do that all the way down. So you just make your single crochet through that chain space and around your chain one from row one it really is, does work out very fast this stitch which is really nice and we'll just keep going down to the end of the row so your last stitch of the row will always be a single crochet and you're going to make it in the chain space created by your turning chain. So I'm going to use three colours with this square just so we can carry the yarn up the sides. So last chain one. So into the turning chain there and single crochet. So changing colour, I'll change there, but that is really all there is to the moss stitch. So these gaps will disappear as we go, so don't worry about those. I'll just bring in my last colour, and ooh, I'm going to find the end. There we go. 
and change that I'll just show you how it interlocks so I do the new colour and I'm going to chain three and into that first space just single crochet chain one and it's the same pattern for every single row you can see it interlocks more after you get past that first row but the chain spaces do tend to pull a bit so you can see that's much more tight in that row so you just do that pattern all the way so you'll start with a chain three and make your first stitch into the very first chain space and then once you get to the end you're going to make your last single crochet in the space left by the turning chain and you do that for every single row so I just bring back the original square okay so you've got 22 rows in total for this square so for the border you're going to need to go down a hook size you're going to go down to a 3.5 millimeter Okay, so top and bottom are nice and easy, you just single crochet in every stitch. For the sides, you need to make two single crochet in the side of every third row. So it's rows 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19 and 22. So if you're using three colours it's nice and easy because you just use it for the colour you've used for every third row, so for me it's the blue rows and I'll just make two single crochet in the side of each of those rows and the other two rows is one single crochet then you add your extra stitch in the corner of the turn and that is that so that is the moss stitch so I hope you enjoy please do come over to the Facebook group please show us your finished squares if, if you have any questions please ask who is there to help and I shall see you next week for the next stitch. Bye for now.